Hey guys, welcome back to Review a Day. So first off, I know I said I was going to tell you guys the winner of the Batman Blu-ray discs today. However, there were so many comments on all the different places I put this video uh, that I wanted to make sure to read through everything and really determine exactly who the right winner was. Uh, so sorry about that. I am going to delay one more day. Um, however, at this point, comments are closed. I've copied them all into a Word document. Very technical, very uh, high-tech uh, stuff going on here. But I will uh, let you guys know who won those kind of, won those two Blu-ray discs tomorrow. In the meantime, let's move on with a review. And today we're going to talk about Batman Year 100. Uh, you might notice I'm holding up a very thin version of it. That's because I actually got it uh, in the individual issues. To be perfectly honest, I walked into Forbidden Planet, I think, and they have a great deal where you can catch up on issues of things um, with a super cheap pack. It's essentially like their bargain rack. Um, so I did check this out. The most interesting thing about this series by Paul Pope is that it almost willfully exists in a universe where Dark Knight Returns never happened. Uh, and what I mean by that is not just a comic book universe, but our universe. It's, <coughs> excuse me, it's a telling of a tale of a future Batman uh, who is the lone superhero left fighting in a dystopian future. Sounds pretty familiar, right? Uh, Pope hits his own notes and his own story beats in there, and the story works very well. But it certainly suffers in comparison to the idea that The Dark Knight Returns was already written. Um, it's a similar sort of criticism I could levy at Spider-Man Reign by Kari Andrews. Uh, same sort of thing where it was like uh, The Spider Knight Returns, or whatever you want to call it. Again, totally solid story, but there's not a lot you can do where it's a uh, dystopian future superhero, well-known, down on his luck, darker than usual, um, without making it feel like that. Uh, the thing to, to turn in here for, really, I think is Paul Pope and Jose Villarubia's art, which is great. I mean, if you've ever seen Paul Pope stuff, you know how good it is. Um, and he's never better on this book. It's also really cool to see him working on a Batman book. So there's something to recommend there for that. I believe it is available in a trade uh, instead of just the individual issues, so you don't have to go scouring the bargain rack for it. Um, that's it. Uh, Batman Year 100, very much recommended. I will see you guys tomorrow.